Good evening. Good evening. Happy to be here in Brussels, Belgium. Happy to be here. And thank you for coming to see my humble movie. And uh, I will be here at the end, when the film will end. I will be here to, if you have any comments or if you have any questions, I will be here at your disposal. That's all that I have to say right now. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, good evening again. This is the time or ever to answer your question. Uh, uh, to uh, thank you. <coughs> thank you for uh, staying uh, uh, to the end and seeing uh, my movie. Thank you. If, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm here to, I suppose, to answer your, if you have any questions or if or to listen to your statements or remarks, notes, comments. Uh, <coughs> and, a mic, uh, yeah. No, no rush, no hurry. <laughs> uh, <yes. laughs> uh. I, myself, whatever I had to say about it, I said it already, so, uh, <coughs> but you may still have some additional uh, questions. I have no questions in my life, myself. No plans, no questions. I just live. I carry my camera with me and just make some notes. I'm really anthropologist. Uh, Hello, yes. Jonas. Over here. Yes. Yes, Jonas. Um, I know it might not be so relevant, um, but you keep mentioning uh, a lady named Diane. You keep Diane. Uh, in 1962, filmmakers, independent filmmakers in New York decided that since established distributors don't like their films, we decided to create our own cooperative distribution center, Filmmakers Cooperative. And it sort of operated from my loft, from my place, and there were many people passing through, filmmakers, it was a busy place. And some very young people like the Diane, she was a student. She used to come and help uh, the filmmakers cooperative. And uh, since she knew that I was working, I was at that time preparing, planning, planning, no plans, but I was, uh, had a thought about making uh, a film based on the diaries of a, like a teenage girl, a teenager who just begins to like see what they're trying to understand the world into which she's like growing in, coming. Uh, and of course that was the year 63, 1963, 62, uh, many, uh, Things were happening, changing, and Diane was one of those that used to come and help. Uh, very sensitive, very interested in what was happening around and her own, uh, how she felt and questions about her own life, you know, being at 15 and, you know, watching the world, what's happening there. Uh, and... Uh, so I used some of her bits from her letters. I don't know what happened to her, you know, in her life. She came in, was around for a few months, and then wrote some letters. 
so I, it was part of the period of that sensibility, so that's the end. Anyone else? A question uh, inside the film. At one moment, you said there is no memory. At the other moment, you said everything. You know, I talk a lot about memory there because uh, so many people, writers, journalists, always keep asking me why you are interested, why you are filming your memory, memory. I said, no, I'm not. Camera can film only what's in front of it, only what's really, really, and the light can hit that thing and reflect and come through the lens and record and whatever, be it film or video. It has to be real. You cannot film memory. But then you see again, what is memory? What is memory? Memory, uh, in, you know, bits of that get registered in your body, in your cells, in your brain, and, and uh, occasionally jumps out. Uh, also memory, that means, okay, I film now bits of reality, and I put it, be it film or video, I put it on the shelf and sits there. Years pass. Now, again, I pick up those bits, and they're, again, very real. They're real. Only that what's recorded in them is past. It's the same as those uh, impacts in our body on very deep, deep, subtle level are also very real, very real. Everything is real. Whatever there is, is Everything is real. There is nothing unreal. Because, uh, so, uh, it's all, uh, cinema is uh, all real. There is no memory. I work with us. I begin to string them together. They're all real records of certain period from the past. It's all real. Uh, we call it memory. But these are all records of a certain period. Like, uh, okay, like uh, you walk into a... a in this place uh, uh, where we are now, the seats, when, I don't know where they were, what time they were installed here. It's, it's all uh, uh, past. Nothing was done here today. It's all from uh, months, years before in this space here. So it's, it's all, you, you can call it bits of memory also. It's all real. It's all real. What is memory? It's all real. Maybe a you call it uh, <laughs> a, not a reminder. You face it. You face it right there. It's, or, uh, it's real in front of your uh, eyes. But it may trigger, trigger uh, some, okay, I'm looking now, I'm remembering other theaters. I remember theater designed by Peter Kubelka, where you could not see your neighbor. It was very special design. Here you see, you can see each other. I, I have memories of other, it, of course it evokes, triggers other uh, uh, points in your uh, body system, nervous, etc., etc. And it's which is all real. It you couldn't trigger it if it wouldn't be there. Okay. As as you said, <coughs> you you leave the material on the shelf for a while. Do you need that time? You always leave it's like it, yes. Uh, five, in some cases, some like years, I had this by. project called Three Image Film Three Hundred Sixty Five Day Project where I made one film every day. It was a challenge. Uh, you will uh, see it here at Bazaar on one screen, I understand. Sometimes I show it on like 12 screens, uh, like one for each month, one film for every day. There I finished the same day, 
I, by midnight, it was there on my website. You could see it, what I did that day. So that's immediate. But most of the time, the material that I videotape fil or I filmed sits for months or years and years, years and even. years. Do you need that perspective before you start uh, working on the Not that I need, but I am so usually involved. I am a very weak person. So I get involved in so many things, you know, I cannot say no. And uh, so I cannot, sometimes it takes years until I get to some of the, my footage. Uh, so it's... Uh, so it's a question of time and... Uh, it's, uh, and, and I have so much, it doesn't matter if it sits there for years or not. Uh, what does it matter? To me, nothing. <laughs> But then also here in the film is the first time you mingle. Well, the film is made about little bits, outtakes, as the title said, of uh, material that uh, didn't fi but fit. But don't, 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 I mean, read the title correctly. Outtakes from the life of a happy man. man. Not outtakes of from the films. footage or footage. something. But still. I have no out, you see, uh, uh, when you, you know, uh, the Hollywoods of this world, when they make a movie, there is a story, they tell that story, and the rest, they cut out the bad uh, takes, when, uh, you know, there are several takes of certain scenes. Those are outtakes, and you, you throw them out. It's not In my case, there are no outtakes. It's all there. What, uh, the outtakes are real, what I take out. The rest is still there to be used. Uh, so it's almost the opposite. Uh, then outtakes. <laughs> well, it's thin, you can l l uh, link material. I just I pull out some, some footage that I feel uh, goes organically with what I'm putting uh, like together. Uh, I have certain obsessions, like I decide to do something with it, something. Yes. And ha when in the process of uh, um, uh, editing, when did the idea of video pa videotaping come in? And for what reason exactly? No, no. Uh, uh, okay, when I put those pieces, begin to work with all those pieces, usually I have so much more and I try to reduce to some realistic length. Uh, uh, I always have a tape r recorder next to me, and sometimes I feel like saying something, not uh, like uh, adding another layer. It's like another uh, uh, another reality that I'm uh, putting next to it, but it's on sound track, not on the image track. Uh, so it's uh, all, and I never know when I will, you know, react. I by reacting to my footage, like to, like. Uh, reacting with my camera to life, then later I react to the footage that I'm uh, trying to put together. Yes. Something like that. Yeah. Yes? Uh, you, there. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's off. It doesn't matter. Thank you for the movie. I choose film up. You enjoy uh, filming cats and dogs. What does it mean for you? What are you trying to say for, for that? Uh, it means nothing, only that uh, I, cats and dogs are part of the real, uh, real life like anything else. I don't, uh, I don't pay, se pay special attention. Uh, they are like, uh, they are around, they are like anything else. And, uh, I, you know, it's, they are not more important than people. Or <laughs> Uh, I, I, I don't look at them as pets. <laughs> they are not pets. They are the animals, like people, like like rain, like snow. There are also cats around, and there are people around, and it's all they exist, you know, am among us. And yes, sometimes in a film, <coughs> they, especially one cat, is communicating with you. <laughs> yes, all cats like to communicate with people, yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, the mic is, so 
I mean, it's maybe a simple question. For the others, yeah. uh, I thought, could you say a little bit about the soundtrack of the film? How you the soundtrack yeah. is part of the the same as I made notes, image notes about uh, as I lived, you know, what my life, uh, friends. Same, uh, uh, I make notes with my uh, tape recorder. Very often I carry a little, you know, Sony in my pocket or... And, and the sounds, uh, as it says at the end of the film, are all from my life. There, there is music, you know, sang during my wedding, and, uh, and then, then, of course, uh, uh, Varkalis, uh, 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 that special improvisation that I used, that he was fooling around with the piano that one night Phil Glass uh, left at Anthology Film and Archives, and August played on it all night, fooling around. Uh, and, uh, it's my friends, and uh, it's uh, or the monastery. It's all from my life. It's not uh, taken from any record or. or, 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 or. I have thousands and thousands of cassettes of sound. Uh, same as image. Yeah. Other questions? <coughs> uh, yes? Yes? Can you hear me? Uh, so, as, as you told that images and music uh, you use is just uh, what it is, so what about your story? You explained why you... Uh, can, uh, can we talk? Clo clo uh, oh, maybe Mike does not work. Uh, uh, okay, just speak uh, loud and we will hear you. Okay. So, uh, why you explained uh, the way you film in the film? I don't get what you are trying to say. Uh, yes. Try to make it sort of clear for yourself. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, in the film, you tell the story why you film. Uh, no, I am not telling the story in the film why I film. So I don't remember saying uh, that at all. Uh, you say that uh, you remember uh, yourself being five. Yeah, that's something else. With my ma what I'm telling about my childhood, that's something else. That is not. I'm I'm telling something else. They're not about my filming. So okay, so that's what I wanted to ask. So you say that that you try to uh, do that all your life, to to do what you did at five. I I, I see what you are trying. Uh, uh, I'm sort sort of beginning to see what you are trying like to say <laughs> that I'm going like when I was five, six and and sing songing there telling my father that the story of the day with a certain intensity, intensity, passion, intensity, that I'm still after that intensity in whatever I you know, be it uh, poetry, written poetry or or, or film or video, um, talking about really getting to the essence of the moment, of the situation, and then try to, to catch it, uh, be it in writing or film, uh, uh, to catch, which is, uh, uh, it's very easy to catch like some dramatic moment, some explosion, some, uh, some disaster, but when you deal with daily life, where there is nothing much happening in the morning, the day begins, you do this, you do that, you do that, you go there, you work on, to like, especially on the farm. <laughs> I'm a farmer boy, basically. 
Uh, and then the evening, then there is another day, and at the end there is nothing, like one day, like any other. Uh, then to catch certain moments that are essential during that day, when nothing seemingly important happens, that's what I'm interested in. That's <laughs> the most difficult thing to do. And... Uh, to, to, to catch the essence of those uh, moments of, of nothingness, <laughs> supposing, supposedly nothingness. Uh, but every moment there is something happening, very subtle, very subtle. Uh, uh, yes. So that's what I'm still trying to get that intensity to get to the essence, the same as I felt, I still feel. Right now, I, I got to it when I was six or five. So you said about um, uh, being interested in those moments of nothingness, yes, emptiness. So that's why you said in the film that uh, filmmakers are awake at night, because at night nothing happens. Maybe. You see, it, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, you see, at uh, night, uh, uh, evening, night is very interesting because the bustle of the day, all those businesses, all those meetings, all those uh, parliaments are sleeping, uh, except sometimes they are arguing really to the morning. <laughs> uh, uh, when, uh, but in normal, you know, situations, people, you know, sleeping, and the air, you can feel, like, uh, becomes clearer from, uh, not only from the noises, but also, like, from the thoughts and uh, of the people, because they are somewhere else in their dream world. And uh, then uh, it's, I feel like uh, uh, the air is clearer for all the muses, all the other worlds to come in and to sort of to begin to, to you are completely somewhere else. It's a different feeling already two in the morning, three in the morning when you are by yourself in the editing room there only with your film and you know everybody is sleeping. All those who were, you know, dealing in businesses and whatever problems humanity has uh, uh, somewhere else, and I'm there by myself, and uh, okay, the spirits of the cosmos, a lot, and a lot is going there. You have a question, you have to speak loud. No. Yes, go ahead. Yeah. Impatient to know whether tonight there will be some uh, moments from tonight that you take uh, as a part of your Tao takes. No, I'm not uh, that aware of myself. I'm. Uh, I just live and I don't uh, analyze myself or try to. I would go crazy if I would begin to think that way, live that way. I would really. They would lock me up for some insane asylum. I'm trying to speak all day. <coughs> there was one sentence of yours. Maybe I can quote exactly. I like what I see. You said. Yes, I, I, just, I com was making comment on my own images. I like, <laughs> I like my images. I like what I see. Yes, yes. I do that because... Yeah, well, I like what I do. And uh, that's part of my happiness. Uh, why else to do anything if you don't like what you do? Then don't do anything. Go and sit by the river and watch the water flow by or, flow by or something. Don't do. And uh, uh, make a uh, misguiding impression. Uh, like you just filming. What's around? Yes. Uh, it was all, also already a question about soundtrack. Uh, dear, uh, you are working as a composer, mm. making counterpoints, 
not coinciding with uh, what is on screen. Adding another layer, in a sense, uh, uh, not uh, there is maybe no counterpoint, but uh, adding another layer. I am complicating a little bit the the, the Im image part by adding uh, also the notes that I taped audio notes. Uh, uh, I have made some other films in which maybe I'm doing that for you are saying, but in this case I think it goes uh, pretty parallel, but it's uh, just adding, it's another level. Uh, uh, I could, you know, the further complication would be if I would project, run this on two or three monitors, then you would begin to edit it yourself. That would be another complication. Uh, uh, <coughs> uh, if I understand what you are saying, <laughs> yes, yes. May I explain by uh, yes. uh, examples from your from this film? Uh, you are filming what is around, what is beautiful. It is a fragile beauty yes. around, yes. but in, in uh, some uh, episodes. They are church uh, songs, singing of chant, church chants. Yes, yes. It is not about what is uh, on the screen. Uh, yes, I'm on a la another layer, which is a completely different plane, yes, uh, of feeling, of emotion, of, of thought, or of whatever. It gives yes. differentness. It gives yes. differentness. It gives a yes. great perspective. Then you are working as a composer. In that sense, uh, yes, but it's not counter, it's just enriching, it's uh, adding another layer. Yes, yes, uh, I, I, I got it, yes. Got it. Over there, on top. Uh, <coughs> you seem to me to be a man of faith, faith in life. Uh, is there a connection between this face and your name, Jonas? <laughs> my name was given to me by my father and my mother. I don't know what they had, uh, how they came to it, really. Uh, but uh, let's forget the name. Uh, fate. Uh, uh, Faith, I have faith in humanity. I have, I have faith, I think. Uh, 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 before, uh, like, uh, I doubt anything or say no, I always say yes. First I accept it, everything is truth. Then later maybe I begin to doubt, I mean, but I, I, I have... Uh, Faith that uh, everybody is sincere, that everybody wants good, everybody for uh, themselves and others. That's the premise from where I start. And later, you know, I have disappointments sometimes, and big ones. But uh, uh, my first uh, uh, point of departure is always faith, trust, trust, trust. I begin there. I trust everybody, I trust humanity, I trust animals, I trust uh, nature, I trust angels, I trust, 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 trust. <laughs> uh, we're going to, oh wait, one last question. Um, you mentioned, uh, there's, a, there's a mention in the film of Buddha, and there's a lot of uh, mentioning of emptiness in, in, in the film. I was wondering if you're, if this, there's almost a religious sensibility in the film. Is that something you strive for, or is that just... No, it just, uh, it's part, uh, I'm not striving for it. It's just happened to be part of my life, and Buddha comes from really, from... Uh, uh, one of the letters of this 15 years old uh, girl who said, I'm here, I'm carrying a book with, uh, you know, uh, that's part, uh, that's part of uh, 
how I felt during that period, and it's and all the uh, let's face it, all the religions are part of our me- uh, call it uh, this uh, thing that is in us. So call it memory of humanity. What we are, uh, we are, you know, the last leaves of that big tree called humanity. And we are made uh, uh, of uh, bits of all those religions before us and all everything that preceded us. You cannot uh, (laughs) say that there is none, no Buddha in us. There is Buddha in us, there is Christ in us, Astra. And, and all the religions are in us, in our cells, atoms, sub-atoms. We are made of it. You can try to suppress it, but it's there. No escape. Well, we'll have to stop here because we lack of time. Uh, we'd like to we are doomed much. to be humans. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, even if we uh, left paradise, uh, little touches of we carry it with us on our, you know, clothes, in our hair, touches of paradise. We still have some of it on us. So uh, let's keep it. Remember that. Well, thank you very much, Jonas Mikas. Um, this was the easiest and laziest presentation I have done. <laughs> uh, but just remind you that Jonas Mikas is with us in Brussels for a few days. Uh, so tomorrow uh, it will go on at Boza with uh, the opening of the exhibition, The Fluxus Wall. And the day after tomorrow, still at Boza, a short introduction to uh, uh, your most epic film, I think, uh, Lithuania and the Collapse of the USSR. So thank you very much for being here. I hope you enjoyed the screening. And thank you very much, Jonas Mikas. And I'm very us. happy that Landsberg is with us. Landsberg is the first president of the Free Lithuania after the collapse of the Soviet Union is here. I'm very happy that you are here. Thank you for coming. The star of the film. <laughs>